Okay, so what's the cell cycle? Well, remember, cells arise from pre-existing cells. Every cell has come from another cell, and what happens is cells divide. Here's a very basic overview of a cell cycle. It's an alternation between the cell growing and then dividing. Growing, dividing, growing, dividing. That's the real basics. Let's have a look at some more detail on the cell cycle and the different stages involved. So here's a more detailed diagram of the cell cycle. We've got here where the cell's dividing. So we can see two new cells are formed here. So this is obviously the start of the cell cycle. And then there's these different stages. There's not many of them, but we are just gonna define what they are. First of all, there's this one here, and this is labeled as G1. G stands for growth. So the first part of the cell cycle here is growth phase one. Then we move over here and we've got S, the S stage or S phase. In the S phase, synthesis is taking place. In the synthesis stage, the really important process of DNA replication takes place. DNA gets copied. The reason for that is because eventually the cell is going to divide again and there needs to be copies of the DNA so that when we get to that division, identical copies can be passed on. Before that though, it moves from the S phase to G2. G2 is growth phase two. So there's two different stages or phases where the cell is growing. During that stage, it's going through all of the metabolism processes that we've learnt about. It'd be making new proteins, new organelles, carrying out all of the different transport of substances in and out, all of that stuff's going on. Then we get to M phase. M stands for mitosis. If you wanna find out the specifics of what happens here, check out the video on mitosis. But basically, it's the part where the DNA is evenly divided so that the two new daughter cells get identical copies to the original parent. And then finally, just after mitosis finishes, we have cytokinesis. Cytokinesis is the part where the cell actually pinches itself and cleaves into two new cells. Then the whole process starts all over again. So that's what we've got G1, S, G2, M, and then cytokinesis. One extra stage that you would have picked up over here, where's this arrow going? We call this G0. G0 is a stage that's entered by cells that differentiate, which means they specialize into a particular type of cell. So cells in the cell cycle would typically be stem cells. Stem cells are cells that haven't yet differentiated. But when a cell enters G0, it specializes or differentiates into a particular type. For example, a muscle cell, or a skin cell, or a brain cell, or a nerve cell, or a red blood cell, or a white blood cell, or a bone cell, you name it. That's what's happening at G0. Typically when cells enter stage G0, their cell cycle either slows down or stops altogether. It's cells like stem cells that have an active cell cycle. Now in this video, the only other thing I want to mention is that you'll see along the way here, there are these checkpoints. There's checkpoint one, that's between growth one and synthesis. There's checkpoint two, which is at the end of growth two before mitosis and there's checkpoint three during mitosis. Those checkpoints are extremely important because it is very important that the cell cycle is controlled. Because if the cell cycle is not controlled and cells divided rapidly and uncontrollably, that is by definition cancer. Here we have an example of some normal cells 
and the cells found in a cancerous tumour. What happens in the case of cancer is for some reason we lose control of the cell cycle and cells start to divide rapidly and uncontrollably. So in the next video, I want you to check out how the cell cycle is controlled. So that's been an introduction to the cell cycle. I hope that you found it helpful. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time. In all of my videos, I use information and material from the Biology Levels of Life textbook, workbook and teaching notes. If you want any information on how to get hold of these, just leave a comment below or email me on jeremy.s.lacornu at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe if you want regular updates on my new videos. And as always, thanks so much for your support and positive feedback. I'm really glad that my videos are helping you.